Hi everyone, I'm Mikai from Technical Support, Southeast Asia. I'm going to show you how to access to the acyclic process data of CMMT through Profinet by using the Sinapara function block from TIA Portal. So now, let's begin with TIA Portal. In TIA Portal, create a new function block and insert your desired name for the function block and then click OK. From the library at the right side, look for Sina Para S function block under the Synamics tab. Drag it to the ladder network and click OK when asked to create data block, which is DB, in TIA portal. So for this demo, DB4 is selected. So now, let's study about the Sinapara S function block. There are a few parameters we can set in the Sinapara S function block. Number one, the start parameter in the input section. Trigger this bit when you want to read or write data. As this parameter is worked by a pulse function, setting it to always true won't make it keep pulling data from CMMT. You will only need to trigger it when you want to read or write the data from CMMT. Next, it will be the read or write parameter in Sinapara S. Set the parameter to 0 if you want to read data from CMMT or set the value to 1 if you want to write data to CMMT. The third one will be the parameter. So this parameter value, you can get it from the CMMT manual under the Profinet section. Value write one is to write the value in a real data type. And value write two is to write the value in integer data type. And lastly is the hardware ID, where you can find it under hardware configuration under the system constant, look for the ID of module access point. In this case, the module ID is 279. Now, let's try to read something from CMMT by using this acyclic process data method. For example, the actual torque of the motor. From FS, we can see that the parameter of the actual torque is P1.150.0.0. .0. In the CMMT manual, we search for the parameter. And we can see that the parameter value for Sinapara S is 11069.0. Insert this value into the parameter section for Sinapara S function block. Since this is a read function, the read or write parameter will be set as 0. Then we download the software to the PLC. So now let's create a watch table and let's see how it did work in the watch table. In the watch table, insert the DB you created for the function block, which is DB4. And this is how you do it. Drag it down to look for more parameter in the DB. Now, let's trigger the start parameter in DB4. Once the start is triggered, you can see the value is updated. And in order to read the value again, I need to trigger the start by the pulse mode. Next, let us try to write some data from TIA portal to our CMMT. In this demo, we are trying to write search velocity under homing parameter. So from FAS, we can see that the parameter 
for the search velocity is P1.8 for 3.0.0. Now, look for the parameter in the CMMT manual. And from the CMMT manual, you can see that the data type for the search velocity is the floating point. And the address for Sinapara S is 11205.0. So now, let us create two Sinapara S for this parameter. One is to read the parameter, and the other one is to write the parameter. And this is how you do it. Take note that for the write function, we need to change the read-write parameter to value 1. Now, let us go back to watch table and insert the following DB to the watch table. Now I'm trying to write the value of the velocity to 0 0.2. Trigger the input start in a pause. Once the output done changed from false to true, it means that the progress is done. And you can see that when we try to read the parameter, the value changed from 0 0.3 to 0 0.2 which is our written value. Now, let us go back to FS and we can see that the value for the search velocity changed to 0.2 as well. This is how we use Sinapara S to read or write data between CMMT and TIA portal. This is the end of my video. Thank you for watching.